Good morning. Welcome back to BT. Sit <laughs> Sarah here with you. <laughs> Thinking of getting away, but you don't want to go too far? Look, we have some amazing locations right around us that you can uh, go to very quickly. Caitlin Narciso is a travel expert at Streets of Toronto, and Caitlin's been kind enough to join us this morning. Good morning. Morning. Thank you so much for having me. I'm a big staycation guy. I think it's underrated. It's fun. It's close mm -hmm. by. And, and I think more people should do it. What are the benefits? Well, it is that time of the year where people are starting to get the winter blues due to lack of sunlight and not having any fun plans ahead. And we want to cure that. So we have five drivable winter destinations that are sure to provide some serotonin. Okay, let's, you, we have the five lined up. We're going to do you a favor here because the weather is like this, as Frankie's been telling you all morning. You never know what's around the corner. Uh, we have five great destinations. So number one is what, Caitlin? Well, it was a bucket list destination for me. I spent the night surrounded by wolves and wildlife at Park Omega in Montebello, Quebec. Wow. Yes. So essentially here you get to see these majestic creatures up close and personal, but from the comfort and safety of your own lodgings. And hearing these wolves howling at night, it's awe-inspiring. If that's your thing. If, if that's your thing. <laughs> but if it's not and you do visit, make sure to pick up some carrots because you can do a car trail and some furry friends will come up to your window and you can feed them right out of it. So you get up close and personal with nature in a serious way here. Look at yes, that. That's exactly. outstanding. All right, item two, if you're into tree houses, this is for you. Yes, this is giving tree house vibes to the extreme. It is called The Water's Edge and it is in Muskoka. And this cozy cottage is exquisite and the attention to details makes it so, so cozy. In the back deck, there is an all-season hot tub. Inside, there are indoor hammocks that overlook the lake. And then there are these giant couches that you can just sink your entire body into. And it is the perfect place to curl up with a book, watch a movie, and just relax. So winter cottage vibes. Winter kinda. cottage vibes. That's fantastic. All right. Item three, if, if European spa hotel type mm -hmm. things is what you crave. This one's for you. Mm -hmm. If you are looking for a wellness experience, this is the perfect place and it's only one hour from Toronto. It is called the High Acre. So it is based off of European spa hotels, but what makes it so unique is that they brought all of those amenities in suite. So every single room has its private infrared sauna, its private steam room, and its private plunge tub, which Special. I've been banned for most plunge tubs in Ontario, <laughs> I have to say. Uh, but that looks fantastic. Yeah. All right, uh, up next, people still falling all over themselves to go to Fallsview. It's a great, great spot. It is a classic for a reason. It is one of the wonders of the world. It's Niagara Falls in a Fallsview suite. Personally, I love the Hilton. And waking up to the rush of Niagara Falls is simply breathtaking and the best way to start any day, honestly. Uh, there you see some, some beautiful sunrises. I'm assuming that's what yes, that is. Yes, sunrise and the frosty falls. Like if you've never seen Niagara Frosty, it's an absolute must. It is cool, mm -hmm. I have to say. It's a fantastic sight. Most people wouldn't think about it. It's a no. great suggestion. Terrific. Finally, if, if night is your bag, mm -hmm. uh, there's a great stargazing spot. Yes, nearby. this is a dreamy destination. It is a stargazing dome in Glen Oro. And essentially... These stargazing domes have become so popular all around the world and for very good reason because falling asleep to the soft glow of the stars and the moon and just the quiet sounds of nature is so serene. And when you sprinkle a little bit of snow into the mix, well, it's a winter wonderland. Terrific suggestions. Uh, Caitlin Narciso of Streets of Toronto. Again, these, these are manageable distances. If you don't feel like going to the airport, they're, they're fantastic spots. They're going to take care of you. Where can people find you online for more suggestions? Streetsoftoronto.com or Streets of Toronto on Instagram. You don't have to go far to find paradise. That is the message we're giving you today. Caitlin, appreciate it. Thank you very so much. much. More BT coming up after this. I'm going to need some more popcorn. No joke. Breakfast Television is brought to you in part.